Dude, do you know how many people are asking about you, bro? Oh. Uh, do you know? Look, it just showed up. <laughs> bro. I'm are you me. okay, man? Are you okay? Yeah. Holy, bro. I can't believe you just walked up on me. Bro. Are you okay? I knew you would be okay, by the way. By the way, if you guys don't know who this is, this is Fish. He's been sitting next to Cheeseburger in Paradise, selling the most awesome stuff, right, for years. He's a, uh, he's like a legend. And uh, everyone loves Fish, and Fish loves everybody. But he's one of the wisest person, people that I know. Can you tell your story, man? You got, you got time, are you feeling all right? Or yeah. I know it's middle of the day and it's hot. Yeah, well, I went to uh, Safeway late because the wind was blowing, so I knew it wouldn't be able to leave that night. And electricity was off. Took me about an hour and a half to just get some orange juice. And so it was about four o'clock and I went out and I saw the fire and it was, you couldn't even see the gateway because it was covered with smoke. And everyone's standing around just looking. And I said, I think we should get out of here because of the speed of this wind. It could be here in two minutes. So I went around back to Front Street and there were, all the cars were lined up, but none of them were moving. And I walked all the way from Safeway to the chart house. Not one car had moved. And I was wondering what was stopping the traffic. Well, it was a policeman. And I got to the end and I looked up north. There were no obstructions. There was no reason to keep those cars there. Are you sh serious? I'm serious as a heart attack. And I, I said, what are you doing? He goes, well, I'm under orders to keep them here. And I said, the fire is, is right around Safeway. It's going to hit Front Street. You know, these people got to get out of here. And he said, I'm following order. No way. And I, so I just kept walking. I, well, maybe he knows something I don't, you know. So, And I keep walking down the highway. And I look behind. No cars are coming out. I walked all the way to Waikuli Beach. Still no cars coming out. And I started hearing boom, boom, boom. And then I heard people screaming and stuff. You're saying they were blockaded in by the police? At the end of Front Street? Yeah. Like where that restaurant is? Where the chart house Where the was. chart house was, I should right. say. They, there was a blockade there and they could not go any further. Right. From Safeway to there, not one car had moved. And people walking in front of me, the people in the cars are saying, would you like a ride? And they're going, oh, okay. And they'd get in. They asked me, to, no, you better get out of here. You know, it, and, uh, but they just, well, we were told to evacuate by car. I was, like, okay. So I just kept walking and I got all the way to, uh, like I said, the Civic Center, and then I started hearing all the explosions, and there was no one walking behind me or on bicycles or anything. And I just... Dude, that is unbelievable. I had no idea, you know, until the next day when I walked down there to, to what had happened. I just, oh my... God. So did you, did you go up north to your place? Yeah. Yeah, and then you just hunkered down for the night? Yeah. And then you came down to Front Street, or the fire? Because I know the fire burned right above your your place. Did it get all, Did it get close way. to you? It got to the uh, Civic Center, right where the tennis courts are at, all around through there, and that, that's where they stopped it. Wow, wow. So, so if people here want to help you, do you have? I know you're not. Are you online? Do you have a Venmo? Do you have any kind of online account of any kind whatsoever? Nothing. So guys, if you want to help Fish directly, Lahaina Fire Fund, and then put Fish in the comment section and every donation that comes in will go directly to fish so there's a way you can make a comment just put the word fish and we'll make sure he gets every penny since he doesn't have you know they're not tracking there's one guy they're not tracking on planet earth trust me uh, so anyway what's uh, what's happened since man what can you tell us what can you part of this channel is to tell people what's actually going on on maui is there anything you can share that you've seen since that you think it's important for people to know well, just a lot of aloha yeah. Lots of aloha. I've never seen such aloha in my life. Wow. And, and you've been here how many years? Well, I've been here 16 years this time. So. This time. How many times before that? Well, off and on 40 years. Yeah. So you're seeing an outpouring of aloha. Larry. That's awesome, man. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what everybody wants to hear. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So what's your plan now, man? You need a place to stay? I got an extra room. I got an extra backyard. I know you like the, uh, the outdoors. He doesn't like to be around all that manufactured material that's gassing off, right? Right. <laughs> I know fish. You got a place to stay? Yeah, it destroyed my place, but... So your place did get burned? No, no, it just got 
blown apart by the wind. Oh, I got you, I got you. So, but I had a spare tent, and it took me about 10 hours to set up. When you're setting up in the wind, it's, uh, it's not easy. Yeah. So, well, you uh, know you can come over to my place anytime. You can set up inside, outside, on the lanai. We got food, we got, we got everything, bro. Well, Anything you need, man. I'm gonna give you a bunch of money too, because these people are gonna donate a bunch of money to you. I know you don't need it, but you can do with it whatever you want. By the way, Fish has got lots of money. Don't don't. Looks are deceptive, right? He works hard. So, anything you want to say to the people, man? Yes. Aloha and God bless. And uh... so, where are you going now? Uh, get some food and water. Okay. So. You need a ride? No, it's just right across the street. You want to come over to my place later? Um, that that's okay. I need to. <laughs> Still need a lot of stuff going through my head. I'm used to working every day, and now it's been six days. I'm going nuts. Yeah. I'm going to weave, but. Can you, I, is, is there, there's still palms you can find, yeah? Oh, well, that was a frustrating thing. I had beautiful fish leaf, and then the next day, the fire comes and the wind, there's bronze. I've never seen so many bronze on the ground, a yeah. windfall everywhere. And I went, this is frustrating, you know? Yeah. Just beautiful palms, uh, high quality, and now I got nothing. Yeah. It's, uh, okay, so. All right, dude. Good to see you, man. You I'm so it. glad you're alive, brother. Seriously, a lot of people want to know what's going on with fish. Well, bless you, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. So. Can you believe just fish walked up right during a live? If it wasn't God's timing, I don't know what there is, man. Seriously. That's cool. I'm so glad you're good. I'm so glad. There's so many people that I'm still worried about. You know what I'm saying? Me too. Yeah, I bet. People that you knew. But it's interesting. I did interview a few homeless people. I always got the GoPro on me, and I interviewed some homeless people before I was able to go live. See, so I'm able to go live. You need to get online. I've got that sat link right there. So we're live right now. But I interviewed some homeless people or houseless people, and they said they were good because, like you said, they were able to walk out or run out, and the people that were trapped in the cars couldn't. But the fact that you're telling me that they couldn't exit off of Front Street because it was blocked by the police, it's pretty, that's pretty shocking news, dude. Oh, no, no warning, no sirens, no, nothing on the internet about the emergency thing that they put mm -hmm. in. I mean, you just go on and on, sending the kids home from school. I mean, it was stupid. Yeah. You know, almost to the point of evil. We love you, you're the best. We're glad you're alive. And if you need anything, you know where to come. I'll give you my address. I won't give you guys my address because we still got some haters out there. We'll block you anyway. You try to hate, we block you, right? We block right. the haters, don't we? That's right. What's up with the haters anyway, dude? Something's wrong with them. Something's wrong with them. We gotta get, we gotta show some aloha. We're gonna convert the haters. Can we do it? We're gonna try. We're gonna try our best. Fish, I give you a hug, bro. All right. Much aloha, my friend. Hey, Thank you. Right? I'm so glad you showed up. Well, I don't be back, right? Line of Town's coming back? Yeah. Is he gonna come back? Yeah. Yeah. I just hope it isn't Black Rock and the rest of the crew. No doubt, no doubt.